So hi guys, this is Varsha in your chain, Master Main. So friends, in this session we are going to discuss the important questions of physics from the chapter Electromagnetism, and all these questions are important for your ICEC 2020 board examination. So please go through all these questions carefully. These are the type of questions which are mostly asked in your board examinations from this chapter that is Electromagnetism. And friends, it is also going to be a kind of revision for you all because you are getting only one day gap for your board examinations for your physics. So let us begin with the question. So friends, the first question is, name the transformer that is used in the power transmitting station of a power plant. So you have to name the transformer. So you must be knowing that there are two types of transformers. One is step down transformer and one is step up transformer. So out of these two transformers, which transformer is used in power transmitting station of a power plant? You have to name this. So it is step up transformer the answer is step up transformer now moving on to the second question the second question is question number two give one similarity between an ac generator and a dc motor so you have to give similarity between ac generator and dc motor so one similarity is that both have an armature coil having soft iron core so this is the similarity between ac and dc motor both have an armature coil having soft iron core now moving on to question number three name a common device that uses electromagnet so you have to name a common device in which electromagnets are used so the example is electrical bells the answer is electrical bells now moving on to question number 4. Question number 4, you have to give two factors. Name two factors on which the magnitude of an induced EMF in the secondary coil depends. So the, the two factors are, for the first factor is the change in magnetic flux. The change, this is C, the change in magnetic flux. This is one factor on which magnitude of induced EMF in the secondary coil depends. And the second factor is the number of turns, the number of turns in the coil, number of turns in the coil. So these are the two factors on which magnitude of induced EMF in the secondary coil depends. Now moving on to question number five, you have to give one advantage of an electromagnet over a permanent magnet. So one advantage of electromagnet over a permanent magnet is that the magnetic field strength can be changed in an electromagnet but if we talk about permanent magnet so the magnetic field strength it cannot be changed so this is one advantage of electromagnet over a permanent magnet now moving on to question number six you have to state one advantage of ac over dc so this is very important and most of the time this question is asked from this chapter so one advantage of ac over dc is that ac voltage can be transformed AC voltage can be transformed to higher or lower voltage levels. Since AC is alternating current, so AC voltage it can be transformed to higher or lower voltage levels. But if we talk about DC, so since it is direct current, so it cannot be transformed. So this is one advantage of AC over DC. And if you are asked one advantage of DC over AC, so one advantage of DC is that it can be uh, it can be stored in batteries. But if we talk about AC current, so it cannot be stored in batteries. So this is one advantage of DC over AC and one advantage of AC over DC I have already written. Now moving on to question number 7 that is the second last question of today's. So the question is state one way to strengthen the magnetic field in the electromagnet. So how can you increase the magnetic field in the electromagnet and how can you make it stronger? So friends you can increase the strength of the magnetic field in the electromagnet by increasing by increasing the number of turns in the coil. Now moving on to the last question of today's that is question number 8. The question is what is the solenoid? So solenoid it is a rectangular sorry it is a cylindrical it is a cylindrical coil of wire 
it is a cylindrical coil of wire acting as a magnet acting as a magnet while carrying electric current so this is the definition of solenoid and it it looks somewhat like this and wires are wrapped around it so friends this was the video that's all for today and besides this if you have any doubts or queries regarding any of the answers so you can write to us in the comment section so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and friends besides this if you want the pdf of this then you are going to get it in the description box of this video so you can download the pdf from there so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and if you like this video then please do give the thumbs up button and subscribe our channel mastermind thank you